Welcome back. Uh, welcome back from Alessandro. And Abe. So what are we going to do now, Abe? What are we going to do? Um, Just go free experimenting <laughs> yeah. vibes. Okay, good. Uh, we are here with our blank slate. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's set a size. Uh, mm -hmm. With... Um, a thousand times. Oh, okay. oh, what do you do? Delete. <laughs> I'm not with my usual keyboard, uh, so thanks. I'm here destroying things. Okay. Uh, 900. Or maybe it should be better, a little bit smaller, because otherwise I cover the whole yeah, code. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so 900 times 900. Right. Perfect. Um, there so are, we start from... Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, so there is uh, these... In, in this list, here in this page, ORX, ORXFX, there's a long list, but the funny thing is it's not even complete. And, and I was looking, there's a one blur where you can specify a buffer, a color buffer, to control the direction of the sampling. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not here. So if I go to source and J, no, not demo, uh, mm -hmm. common main and blur. blurs, and I found it here's the directional blur. Mm -hmm. And that's the one I want to use. Mm -hmm. And since I'm here, I can show you that this is a, a kind of new, there's these interfaces, all the effects have uh, this kind of filter. Normally it's one-to-one, -one, mm -hmm. which means that it takes one input and it provides one output. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it takes two inputs and it provides one output. Mm -hmm. So basically the two inputs are the image you want to blur and also the image you want to blur the it with. Image. Yeah, the control one image. One is the control image, one is the target of the blur. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So... Um, Let's do here two. So, how do we start? The first thing we we have to do some some place to render in. Yeah. Uh, so uh, canvas uh, render exactly. target. RTCB. Um, we can use the same width and height. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And here we're gonna draw something mm -hmm. on on every frame. So I'll put it here. Let's remember to clear. Yeah. This thing. <laughs> Isolated with target. All uh, oh right, yes. Isolated with target. Yeah. RT. Mm -hmm. We clear this transparent. Mm -hmm. And I want to draw rectangles in twenty locations, oh, for example. But do you want the locations to be fixed? Yeah. Okay. So we need those locations first. The yeah. First, right? And so now we are going to use our friends. Yeah. The lists. Collections and lists. So locations, uh, let's make a list of, I don't know, 20 items, for example. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pick them uniformly from, uh, or radially. Mm. Let's do this. Like, we can do from polar. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Polar coordinates from the center of the screen. Exactly. Uh, polar. And then we can randomize maybe the angle and uh, uh, radius. Random double... I mean, for those who are interested, this doesn't give you the same distribution that it's not a uniform distribution on a rectangle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we have now a polar coordinate. We want to convert this into Cartesian. Mm -hmm. And by default, the polar coordinate is uh, located around 0, 0. Mm -hmm. So I we want... We have to randomize... Uh, the radius and angle? Right. Right. Re the we randomized already the angle, yeah. but I forgot the radius. Ah, the right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so random, double. But uh, with boundaries, I would say, yeah, between um, 100. Okay. I, instead of double zero, yeah. then I can do double 100, 400. 400. Super. And then we move them to the center of the screen, right? right? That would be the rubber bound center. So, to maybe you can start by looking at how this. Wait, are are the like the center is gonna be at 450, 450. So plus 400. Okay, this will be inside the screen. Mm -hmm. I would say, right? Okay, we could cool. try visualize this, just to make sure those locations make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I can put circles mm -hmm. uh, on those locations. Mm -hmm. Fill them with white, probably, or something. Uh, I think. They have some default, which is visible, no? I think it's white. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. super. <laughs> okay. 
it's not very obvious that they are <laughs> yeah, with a radial distribution, but, but it's, that's how life is. That's, life. <laughs> <laughs> that's how life is, exactly. <laughs> okay, so this was just a test, and the mm. points are right. <coughs> so, you know what we can do now? We mm. can, uh, let's try to draw a rectangle mm -hmm. at center at each of these points, mm -hmm. but each of these rectangles uh, rotates a slightly different speed. Cool. We can use the index, yeah. you know, okay. So we can first start just by putting static rectangles yes, in exactly. those places. Exactly. Uh, and I'm going to draw that inside this render target. Mm -hmm. um, so let me see. Uh, locations, uh, locations for each. For each. So we're going to iterate over all those locations. Mm -hmm. And now we want a rectangle. Remember, and from center, right? Yeah, remember yeah. that this is we are in this context, which is now a drawer, so I don't need to specify. I don't need to specify. I end up doing this any, yeah. anyways. But I don't know. Maybe it's more readable. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, let's leave yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here we create a rectangle from center, and the center is our it. Mm -hmm. And, and with an it, we need to pass. We can put a some dimensions there. I, there is a bracket. Ah, too much. Uh, right. I this goes at the end. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now we should see a bunch of rectangles where pre before there were circles. Hmm. Mm. Ah. Why? What is the problem <laughs> now? What okay. is the problem with the offcam? Well, things? we have a beautiful collection of rectangles on a canvas, yeah, which it's we just are. Just that we have not. We are not displaying the canvas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how was that? Image. image. Uh, RT color buffer zero. Exactly. And normally you would specify here maybe the coordinates. Yeah, but, but it's since not needed yeah. because it's the whole. We want it in the top left corner. Yeah. So anyways, exactly. Now, so Super. we okay. want to make them rotate. Mm -hmm. And maybe <laughs> let, okay, let's make them rotate, mm -hmm. and then we will address the speed yeah. of each of them. Okay, so how do we make them rotate? So to rotate. Um, we have to use another approach. We have first to translate to the center right. and then rotate around there. And we're going to need another isolated. Mm -hmm. Because see, now I translate yes. to IT. So now the translation is going to accumulate. Yeah, we want here zero. And yeah. see, we are drawing here with for each 20 times. So we are yeah. translating over and over yeah. until we are. Maybe we could show them, I mean, in case they have seen it already in other frameworks, the push and pop. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I, think, I think it's like push transform. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you do drawer dot push transform. Drawer dot push. Push, push transforms. transforms. Exactly. And at the end, you put drawer pop transforms. Huh. I never did that. Yes. The old school style. Yeah. So there exactly. we are. Exactly. Here we are. <laughs> but now we are not rotating. So we have not changed anything. Now yeah. we rotate. Drawer rotate. Um, Seconds mm -hmm. times 20. Mm -hmm. Now they will all rotate at the same speed. Yeah. Okay. So now how about we uh, change, how about we basically uh, assign speed, different speeds to each of these points? Mm -hmm. We can create another list mm -hmm. and map locations. So in order to have... Uh, well, speeds... Mm -hmm. The funny thing is then we are not going to be able to... Then we have to use a for each, each index. Each index, yep. But <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes. But, uh, okay. Locations, Dot map. map. And, and then we, we want... Have ram random speed. Double. Or we could do something funnier. Can we do it? Let me think. Uh, no, no, we cannot do it. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking if we had already the information about the width and height, but we don't. Mm -hmm. So because we declare it only at the visual stage, yeah. so we cannot use this information to say larger rectangle mm -hmm. so go. You know, uh, the the speed is right. Maybe that Almo. That sounds like a class. We can do a data class. Exactly, but that's that's a story for another <laughs> for another day. Yeah. That that for instance for me would call for a data class. Yeah. Okay. In a data class, we could store all this information together, exactly. like the location, the size, the exactly. color, the speed. Yes, exactly. Okay, but for now it's good. So, uh, speeds. So now, yeah. how do we access them? Here? So that's interesting because here we iterate through each of these, but we don't have the index. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. We want to access speeds, mm -hmm. for example, three. Yeah. 
I think there is another. Uh, that, what this this approach is the first one I would go through. Yeah. But there is, there is another one mm -hmm. that is using zipping. Yeah, or we can just make pairs. Or, or we can just make pairs. But this this yeah. would be like, to, to be honest, is the for each index would be yeah. the first thing I would do. Yeah. Pairs would be. I mean, the point is that for me, if I'm using pairs, probably I'm use. I'll, I'll use a data class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, probably because maybe I want to add colors and yeah. I want to add other things. So yeah. okay, cool. All right. So, so by doing this kind of iteration, mm -hmm. we have access to the index. <clears throat> and now we can access to a specific speed mm -hmm. as in speeds i. Mm -hmm. So that's the corresponding speed. Exactly. The match in one of the locations. And we can multiply seconds instead of mm -hmm. 20, use speeds i. Yeah, we're, uh, here. Oh, yeah. And okay. if you notice, I use also negative numbers, so mm -hmm. some of them will rotate in the opposite mm -hmm. uh, direction. Yeah, maybe we can increase the overall speed. Maybe yeah. we go a bit faster. Uh, much faster, 50, much faster. 50. <laughs> Five times faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Very good. And I wanted them not to be, I wanted, I don't know, to have a different aspect ratio. Okay. <coughs> not uh, a square, not squares. Yeah. And maybe we can uh, um, avoid the stroke. Yeah. And put it to full. Um, Sorry, to null. <laughs> Drawer strokes Stroke null. null. Mm -hmm. All right, super. Okay, so now we, c we could use this as the source of the directional blur, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see how we do it. Mm, um, so we have a... Okay, we are rendering already in a... Color buffer. Color buffer. Mm, I would like to blur this before using it as a source of as a source for uh, the okay. blur. Super. Uh, so we are actually two blurs. Right, because yeah. we are blurring the the yeah, yeah because probably this is the, a the reason I want to blur this is to have soft edges yeah, on the shapes. Yeah, yeah. So I think it will look more interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can create a <coughs> color buffer, or I will call it blurred. Blurred. Color buffer with, with height. And height. And then we need an instance of a, a blurred filter, right? right. A blur filter. Well, uh, this is the blur effect. Mm -hmm. um, Gaussian? I think there was an. I would use the approximate because it's faster. Okay, yes. Right. Even if it maybe looks less nice. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. And we can use this syntax here if we right. want to customize the this effect so i can type now well again you don't need it right probably but for clarity uh, i just want to make it more uh, extreme than yeah. by default so we can say window and spread are mm -hmm. both going to be eight mm -hmm. for example uh, so this essentially would do would have the same effect of uh, sending i mean of setting these on blur but it's more readable like with also mm -hmm. right Okay. Right. So, is it eight? No. No. Is it also yeah. eight point zero? Ah, it was window. What I wanted to change. Window and spread. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now we have the effect ready, and we just have to make use of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we here we update our mm -hmm. image all the time. So now we apply the blur. The, the blur. Apply and the source is going to be our RT dot color buffer at zero and we put it into blurred. And just now for fun, then we can look at it how, yeah, how it looks like. Yeah, all right, let's see how much is, is it blurred currently. Oh, it's not so much, not so much. I want more, <laughs> so maybe increase the spread mm -hmm. or the wind. Yeah. Let's see how much does this affect? A bit. Not so much. Gain probably you have as well, no? The, the gain will increase the brightness, no? Right, right. Oh, this is making it slower. Mm -hmm. It's strange, I, I don't appreciate so much the... Yeah, the blurring. Blur effect. Yeah. Or should we use one of the other Yeah, blurs? let's use blur. 
Uh, uh, leader blur, yeah, without capital. No? Ah, no, no, no. No, I uh, obviously Gaussian mm. blur. Yeah. Or, yeah. Gaussian blur. Yes. Blur. This is this is a lot. Uh, <laughs> like, like eight and. Yeah. Oops. Let's eight. see. Okay. Is this more visible? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we can. We can. Uh, I think. I think we can also do five and three, probably. Let's see how it. Uh, I think also it's it is slower the higher yeah. the values yeah. you use. Yeah. No. Yeah. This okay. Is let's go. Let's go with this. Okay. okay. So we now we have mm -hmm. the the control image, the, the image that will control the directional mm -hmm. blur. Now yeah. we need to to have another. Yeah. Uh, thing we can uh, change. Should we use an image or generate something new? We can draw something simple, I don't know, like, even if it's just a wobbling circle. Let's do a wobbling circle. Yeah. And we're going to draw that in a different render target. Yes. Um, <coughs> at this point, maybe we have to start thinking about better names. <laughs> but, uh, okay, RT2, that's not a great name. Well, width and height. And now in this RT2, we're going to be drawing our wobbling circle, isolated with target, RT2. Mm, we clear, and uh, transparent, yeah. and well, let's make it, I don't know, pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stroke is going to be null, so mm -hmm. we don't have any... Well, actually, I want to make a ring. A ring? So, uh, uh, instead of that, I will put null fill. Mm -hmm. This is going to be pink, and let's make and it... Then uh, increase the stroke weight. Yeah. yeah, okay. Stroke weight is going to be, I don't know, heavy 80. Color dot pink. Yeah, this one need pink. Yeah, nice. Right, now we need the circle. circle. At the drawer, bound center. Mm -hmm. <coughs> let's do 200. Uh, 200 plus uh, 100 okay. of sine wave. All right, so it's an oscillating yeah. circle. Mm. Okay, super. And seconds yeah. times 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we c before we actually apply this new effect, we can look at how this one looks like. Mm -hmm. So just by changing here RT2. But this will now will result blur. Ah, right? no, sorry. Yeah. It's not so what I wanted want to do. To direct <laughs> <into the image. laughs> I wanted to visualize it here. Mm -hmm. uh, RT2 color buffer zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we can see a pink donut. Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> so right. That's very fast. Why so fast? Uh, so I didn't expect. Uh, I wonder if also the frame rate is a bit low on our system or interesting. It's not very smooth. No. <coughs> I guess if maybe you it's because I'm doing screen capturing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so maybe reduce also the speed here. Like yeah, I will just leave it to seconds. move very slowly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And All right. And now. So now probably we want to set up the composite. Uh, well, we just need this new yeah, kind of blur. Yeah, the directional. Okay, so. Yeah. All directional blur. Uh, uh, how is it? Directional blur. Mm -hmm. Let's use mm. default values mm. and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Now we need another blurred mm. canvas. Directionally mm. blurred. <laughs> Directionally blurred. This is where our final yes. render is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so we're going to use this, ne this effect and draw yeah. our ring here. Yes. Um, okay, where are we? So here we apply to blur. To blur. Okay, okay. now we want to use the so directional so blur. So directional blur works like the, the, the first uh, thing to pass. We use an array. Ah. Array of. Okay. And here we need two. I don't know in which order, but we can try yeah. and see what happens. Uh, so I would say I would think <coughs> that the first one should be the image to be yeah. blurred, the second one the controlled, the control, and the third one the target, the final thing. No? Uh, so, so which one is which? Um, well, so the target RT is direction. Ah uh, no, 
Yeah, I've wrote it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this is, let me look at the names. <laughs> uh, the effect is directional, directional blur. blur. Yeah. Uh, directional blur, and we apply to this one, directional blur, that's the mm -hmm. result. So I would say that now the image that we have to pass is, uh, uh, ah, so okay, so in this way we are assuming the first input is the control. Yeah, uh, maybe it's the other way around, so. Okay, and now this is our final yeah, image we, to, we can we want to visualize here. And let's look at this. It's a bit... <laughs> oh, <yeah>. It's <laughs> subtle. It's very subtle, yes. But there's some kind of borders there, like yeah. damaged borders. It's very subtle. Um, I don't know if we could how do about, more how extreme. About, how about we use an image? as the source for directional blur. Okay, but I think we could... Uh, I also want to see how to make it more extreme. Okay. Uh, maybe it's one of the parameters and of probably. of the this effect. Um, I don't know if it has a, like a multiplier or something, or... Let's see, center window, window spread gain, perpendicular, what is a Boolean? So we can play uh, with window and spread already. Right, window yeah. and spread. Maybe if, if we increase those values, mm -hmm. um, it's probably also going to slow down a bit because... Could be, yeah. yeah. So now I increase the spread to five. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Things are happening already. Okay. But how about instead now of a wobbling circle, yeah. we have a long rectangle strip and make it rotate mm -hmm. so that it will basically intersect mm -hmm. the rectangles be before, below. So we have both at the same time? Yeah, let's have both at the same time. Yeah, I'm just going to move this much uh, slower, yeah. like 10 times yeah. slower. And now we can draw with a different color. Yeah, uh, draw a, yeah a rectangle from the circle. What color are like white or? Yeah, let's do white. Um, well now we don't need st the stroke. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be null. And we draw, uh, oh, we want it rotating, no? Yeah. yeah. Rotating. Yeah. Drawer dot, we're going to translate to the center of the screen. Actually, then we could have already done that before, so we don't. We could do have done that. Before. We don't do it twice. Yeah, yeah. Makes drawer sense. translate drawer Not bounce. bound Not center. center. Mm -hmm. So now we draw the zero. circle at zero. Yeah. Uh, put this here, and then we also draw. We don't have. Oh to no, we don't need we to don't translate. Need we can just rotate. Exactly. Rotate. Seconds time, I don't know, 30. And then draw a rectangle. A rectangle. From center. A rectangle from center, and the center zero is vector. zero. Yeah, vector to zero. I love this autocomplete. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there is a bracket. Uh, uh, yeah, the width goes. Ah, yeah, the width goes here. I'm just going to make it You very don't need big. The, the bracket after zero. Uh, Right. Where do you mean? Here, here. Ah, rectangle from center. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. So okay. this is going to be long and thin. Yeah. And, or, or large and like, depends. It, it rotates anyway, so yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how Let's it rotates. See. Yeah. Okay. So you are seeing already that on this uh, uh, strip, <laughs> some blur effect yeah. is happening interesting and maybe we can finish by adding one more layer yeah, of yeah. this dithering yeah let's add the, let's add the dithering yeah i think there is what was yeah. the name do you want to add the dither at, at the, the control image or at the very end ah interesting right where's our control image is this first one exactly so after after we apply blur right to that we can apply on on, on it again the dither uh-huh um, so <laughs> now it's gonna getting confusing. We draw here on this RT. Yeah, but if you if you scroll down, you see here we apply to blurred. Blur. Then we can do deter blurred. Okay. Save it on blurred. Okay. Uh, it, it's yeah. not only blurred at yeah. the end, but yeah. okay. 
Ooh, leader, we need to define apply. Yeah. I'm just writing it so yeah, I don't yeah, forget. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. also don't know if can we use the same use the same or not. Same or not? Now. Yeah. Uh, so let's create a, a leader somewhere here. Yeah. Well, there is. I have to look at the names because I don't yeah. remember. Color distortion dither. There's a dither. Maybe that one. I don't even know what it does. It's a selection of dithering effects. Let's see what it does. A dither. Funny name. I wanna. I'm gonna control click and oh, there's not so much. There's patterns. There's three or four different patterns between zero and three. Levels. And levels. Yeah. Interesting. Let's start with the with the default. Yeah. Let's on. see what happens if yeah. this works or not. Do we have any error or no? Or, or anything visible? Uh, uh, I don't see much effect. A little bit, yes. You know, you can see that it's a bit uh, grainy here. Uh -huh, on the edges. But it's very, very, very mm -hmm. subtle. Maybe we can make it more extreme. Mm -hmm. So what was it? Uh, there were levels. Yeah. Uh, Parameters. And what was the levels? Levels was four. four. And pattern was three. And uh, we can see that the suggested maximum is 64. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, 32. 32, <laughs> yes. There you can see I'm, I'm a programmer. Like, you know, no, yeah, no. Of course, oh, power oh, Other pe person wouldn't say 32. Yeah, like, yeah, tell right. me a number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not much. It doesn't show much. No. Probably it's also because, you know, dithering a flat color maybe shows yeah. less but we could try to deter the <laughs> end result and also uh, we can try these patterns which mm -hmm. what were their zero <laughs> one two three we don't know even what they do but uh pattern zero no no not <laughs> much not much no also it depends on we can use perturb yeah, what if what if we apply first the dithering? Yeah, that's also a possibility. Yeah, we don't even know what this effect does. No, we don't <laughs> even know what this effect does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's several options. We can change the order. Also, we don't know if if it would look different if we use a different exactly. color buffer. Yeah, that's very easy to try. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna delete this and just gonna create a new color buffer. Dithered. Mm -hmm. Dithered. Is color buffer width and height, mm -hmm. and then we are gonna put the effect onto there. So these are blurred Dither. here, and, then and now here. instead of blurred, we use this. Let's see if this makes any change. Mm. No, not much. <laughs> By the way, this is the story of our life. Sometimes, <laughs> some days, you know, you have a very cool idea on paper, but then the visual effect is what it is. But, uh, but yeah. So then, uh, last try, mm -hmm. <laughs> we change the order. Yeah, uh, exactly. So we first take the color buffer. Yeah. And dithered. And we make it dithered. And, and then, then we take the dithered. And we blur and to blurred and here's blurred again oh blurred does this produce anything different no not really <laughs> okay not really yeah that's what happens when you try live uh, i'm sure i've seen i've i've used uh, some other effect but i don't know which one of these it was maybe the control uh, yeah. luma half tone ah this one <laughs> that should be easy to try also Mm -hmm. and then because we can just change yeah, just the, change the yeah. instance here is and probably who knows if the parameters are the same Uma half tone. no no but, but you this you just delete yeah. <laughs> i'm just going to look at what whoa this has a lot of parameters whoa, a lot of stuff let's try but, what uh, happens out of the box let's hope that the defaults are interesting yeah. Not much. No, not okay. Much. Not much. Then we can come back in a future episode when we figure out exactly <laughs> and show a much better result. Ah, you know how it would be interesting if we use a GUI, and then we can right, explore right. those parameters. Then we can explore the parameters. Okay, this we can leave it to the viewers probably. Yeah. And have fun with this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, hopefully you have hopefully you have seen our trial and error work, and now also how 
is not difficult to go through it mm-hmm. and it's i mean it's like goofing around is very fun pastime yeah. in uh, open render mm-hmm. and uh, yeah maybe you spend time with this uh, filter <laughs> as well so until the next episode we say goodbye and we goodbye see you and and share if you create anything yeah, you can share a link under the video exactly it would we'll be cool be to watch it happy to watch it and uh, yeah give feedback <laughs> take, take care